I really loved your portrayal of Shades Thank like you. Luke Cage. Yeah. I love the complexity of the character. So I just wanted to ask you, were there any challenges or aspects of the character's sexuality that mm. you really wanted to bring to the portrayal? It was my favorite thing that I've ever done because I think that uh, film and television gives us a chance to inspire and show almost in a way normalize things right because people see it and go oh that's me or oh that's now and i'm being represented here i thought with shades who is this so enigmatic very like unknown kind of thing and as we started diving deeper into him in season two shades wanted love he wanted direction he'd been hurt and when you can go and see the pain that he had been through maybe by not living the life he wanted to because of he was scared or and I don't think he's ever been scared I think maybe because he didn't want to show a certain form of himself because he was in this criminal organization and kudos to Marvel and Netflix and all that for really kind of bringing that and exploring that for even just a second right um of that character because I don't think it had been done so he has this incredible relationship with Mariah, but yet him and Comanche have this thing that you could tell was really at his heart. So you can't, you can't earn the cry unless you have the laughter in the beginning. And I think to see him and Comanche together, to hear their story about their history, and then what happens with them too, it makes it almost more even devastating. And then you understand maybe a little why Shades is the way he is. Um, I was... I couldn't be happier to have portrayed that. I wish that we would have kind of done it a little longer to really see how that would have played out in regards to his sexuality. But um, I just was really, really proud of that. And I just thought it was an amazing moment for a character in the MCU. Yeah. I think that's what I was getting at earlier when you were talking about authenticity. And I asked, what do you find is the tool that creates relatability no matter what the character? And it's that laughter at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Generally, you can always kind of turn on a dime and make someone evil or make someone sad or have tragedy, but no one's going to really connect to them if you don't have some form. Laughter always immediately connects an audience, I think. Yeah, and I just think, again, just showing versions of everyone, you have to know people before you can, like, play them. You know, so you have to be able to have a conversation. You have to be able to have human relationships. And then you can play those characters. You know, you can't really just lock yourself in a room and not know anyone or not debate on someone or only surround yourself with people who think like you. You know, you have to be kind of with everyone and you have to feel everybody's different opinions. Mm -hmm.